Welcome to Monster Jam Live. If you're joining us on Facebook, we're in St. Louis at the Dome at America Center. You're going to get a preview of everything headed for competition tonight here. And if you're here with us right now, go on to your phone, check out facebook.com slash monster jam and follow along with everyone at home. Speaking of, we'd love to welcome all of the monster jam fans from around the world who are joining us right now. You're going to get to know a lot about our superstar monster jam drivers who will be competing tonight and you'll get to hear their thoughts on all of the competition. Now, let's get this started and go to the pits where you'll find our very own Leslie Mears. So exciting to be able to catch up with Tom Mentz back here because you fans in St. Louis and all around the world, you are getting the first look at Max D8. Tom, tell us about the evolution of this new machine. You know, 24 years of driving Monster Jam trucks, we're always searching for a better machine, make a better one, build a one more better than the last one. We've finally done it. This is the best one we've had to date. We're excited to show it right now, but even more excited to show it to the world this year. Okay, so let's talk about some of those specifics, because, you know, with all of your expertise inside the cab, you come up with these crazy ideas. What are some of the crazy ideas that you came up with that you tossed at Chuck Warner to try to make come to fruition? We've really worked hard on having a better braking system. It's been some of our problems in the past. Even at the World Finals in Las Vegas, it's kind of hard for us to slow down as efficiently as we want to do. Vision's always been kind of a problem with the body. We spent a lot of extra time creating more visual areas when you're driving that The other thing that you mentioned is that you made some changes to the way that the chassis connects to the corners and those four-link cars. Absolutely. You know, we're running a different style of four-link. It's certainly a little bit better way to hook it to the chassis. You've really got to make the match to the cup. Modern monster jam tracks are the best, but they're also the most brutal on the trucks. It's real important to make sure that this chassis is stronger than anyone we've ever built before. So you got to test it out in practice, and I want the world to know that you were the fastest qualifier in practice out there, and you said, I haven't been fastest for a long time. What were some of the things that you changed that really lent you to being fast out there on the track? Really working harder, getting at the corner better without rolling over in the corner. And, you know, even importantly, you know, the braking system's better, so you can run it into the corner harder, and it's landing better than it has. We really haven't been able to tune it much yet, at a real event, other than working at it, Monster Jam University track, we've done just a little bit of work there with it, but really excited to see how it works tonight. You know, fantastic job to all the guys back in Paxson. It worked incredibly so hard, and to be able to bring it down here in the first event and be the fastest in practice, that's a huge, huge, you know, bonus for them and a kudos to all their hard work. You know, so we got to shake it down a couple times there at Monster Jam University. You said six to eight race, pa race passes, about two minutes of freestyle. We'll see how the cards are. We know that you're very confident here tonight, aren't you? Definitely confident, but one thing's for sure. We'll run it as hard as we ever have. And will get a true test here tonight in St. Louis. All right, so that's a little bit behind the scenes. Now it's time to get more in-depth with all our drivers in Monster Jam and take a closer look at Adam Anderson and Gravedigger. I'm hanging out with your four-time Monster Jam World Finals champion and your current Monster Jam World Finals freestyle champion, Adam Anderson and Gravedigger. Adam, Welcome back to St. Louis. I know you're so excited to be here. These fans are going wild for you. You know, I'm glad to be back here. The fans of St. Louis are great. My first time being here in 2013, I was able to take home a freestyle win. I was here earlier in the year, man, and I tell you what, St. Louis took a win on Gravedigger, but it's going to be a different story tonight. Well, going back to 2013, I mean, you mentioned it. Max D, you took a huge hop over Max D in freestyle, totally killing it. I mean, do we got something crazy up your sleeve tonight or what? All I can say is that nobody better leave their truck out on the track. It doesn't matter whose it is because I'm going to take it out. But no, nah, man, I'm super excited, glad to be back. It's great to see all the fans that were here earlier in the year. They're back again, and also there's new fans that come out to see us. Now, you're the current FS1 champion, ser series champion. Here you are. You're going to your next FS1 championship next year. 
Are you excited for it? You know, I'm super excited. And uh, they got the previous uh, the previous year's winner, uh, Neil Elliott and Max D. I can't wait to battle it out with him. Uh, Two-time runner-up, Damon Bradshaw. I can't wait to rock the house with him. He's always great competition. Uh, I love a good competition. I love to win. But you know what, man? Uh, they're going to make it hard for me this year. We wish you the absolute best of luck, Adam Anderson and Grave Digger. All right, next up, I got someone who likes to wag her tail, and that's Bailey Shea from Scooby-Doo. Bailey, this is so exciting for you. You have this whole section, section 152. Check them out. Your family and friends, you've got to be stoked to have everybody here to support you tonight. I'm so excited. I mean, look up there. That's my support system. I'm here because of them. And every one of these fans out here, you guys are the reason that I do this. I strap in, I go out there, I go big just for you guys. All right, so we've got Mama, we've got Papa up there, we've got Grandma. Let's go meet the family for a minute, okay? This is just so neat. Over 200 people in this section here to support Bailey. Where's Mama B at? Mama B, are you excited to have your daughter competing tonight on this track against some of the best? Yeah, I'm excited. I'm very proud of her, right? I'm very proud. And I've got a lot of Scooby fans. One that's in a cute little outfit. What's your name? Her name is Riley, and if y'all can see her, she is in a cute, cute Scooby-Doo outfit. Bailey Shea found her in the pin party. Isn't she adorable, Bailey? She is. She is one of my biggest fans. I've known her for a while now. We kept up, and she showed up. She promised me she'd be here. She brought Scooby some Scooby snacks, and we're going big and freestyle. And you've got something to give away, right? I need the biggest Cardinals fan out there. Make some noise. All right, there she goes. Give it away that Cardinals hat. Bailey Shea and Scooby-Doo. Lindsay Wink will be piloting the Lucas Oil Crusader here this weekend. And Lindsay picked up a 2011 racing victory here. And you're 10-3 and three in racing. And I know that racing is always very important to you. You're always super focused on that. Yeah, the great thing about racing, it's a man versus, you know, man versus machine. There's no judges involved or anything like that. It doesn't matter the color of your truck. It's head-to-head racing. I love that. I'm a competitive guy. And the town here is, uh, is like none I've ever seen before. It's only getting better. So we got our hands full tonight. How do you prepare yourself for the field like this? I mean, this is like a mini world finals field that we're bringing here to the Dome in America Center. Well, you know, uh, the last time we got to practice run on that track, and th at that point we have a lot of chance to look at other guys and how they're running. If their times are faster, almost copy them or take what they did a bit further. Uh, we tried a couple things last night, and we had a good time. Uh, but I think it'd do better, and I watched a couple guys last night raise that bar, and I saw how they did it, so go out there tonight and implicate it. So you gotta, it's all about being a student out here to get the job done for Lucas Oil Crusader. Now, with Doomsday, we have never heard from the driver. We've never seen him without his helmet off at all this year. But I'm getting word that tonight, a little bit later, there will be a special announcement on Facebook Live after the freestyle run of Doomsday. So be sure to tune into Facebook Live to see that very special announcement. Here with Team Hot Wheels Firestorm driver Scott Buto, who has had a phenomenal year with freestyle, including setting a record for consecutive freestyle championships. With all of that, what can we expect from you tonight? You know, the one thing that we pride ourselves with Hot Wheels is staying consistent, and that's what we did for the whole 2016. We had by far our greatest year ever behind uh, the seat of Hot Wheels, so we're going to stay consistent. We're going to go beer, go home. We're going to roll the dice and see what happens. Well then, next year, 2017, you're going to be competing on the Monster Jam FS1 West Series, going against the previous champions, Neil Elliott, Max D, Adam Anderson, Gravedigger, plus the likes of Damon Bradshaw and Monster Energy. How do you use tonight to prepare for that, and what do you have to say to those guys about next year? You know, I had them in Australia for five straight shows over there. So, again, consistency, you've got to say about that. And that's what life is. You know, you continue to raise the bar, and you got to expect that every single year, raise the bar, and there's no higher bar than that to go against those guys. 
He's looking for his 12th freestyle championship this year, and he's looking for that Monster Jam World Finals championship as well. And up next is driver Devin Jones of Barbarian. So Devin, for a guy like yourself, you bust your butt working on Barbarian. Will you tell some of the Monster Jam fans around the world what goes into preparing your truck for a competition like this? Oh, we'll spend about 70 some hours a week just getting to the show and also getting the truck ready for a show and stuff just to come out here for about five minutes and sit there and destroy it for you guys every week. And what does it take to compete at the highest level to get that invite to the Monster Jam World Final? Man, it takes so much and stuff. Uh, I mean, you had Scott Buto and me got uh, Rising Star of the Year 2012, both of together and stuff. And then, uh, I mean, it's just every time we come out here, we have to get a point for to going out there the World Finals. And will you talk about your 2017 season, who you're going up against, who you're looking forward to beating, and what you're really looking forward to most on the road to the Monster Jam World Finals 18? Uh, we're actually doing some stuff a little bit different. We're teaming up with uh, Team Overboard and stuff and trying to get it where we can sit there and go down the road a little bit better. And uh, we're sitting there going against Ryan Anderson and uh, Dennis Anderson stuff, two of the biggest trucks out there. We'll look for them in 2017. Get your mo tickets at MonsterJam.com. And if there's some Barbarian Brand fans here in St. Louis, you got to make some noise for the man, Devin Jones. We have 14 superstar Monster Jam drivers here tonight with a combined 18 Monster Jam World Finals Championships here at the Dome in St. Louis. And when we start to look at people's records, there's Scott Buto with 11 freestyle championships. There's Adam Anderson and Gravedigger, the current reigning freestyle champion. But then there's Tom Benson, Max D, the 11-time World Finals champion. I, it's, it's really hard to think about. Who can you pinpoint will win tonight? But I think for racing, I have to go with Adam Anderson and Gravedigger. For freestyle, Tom Mentz and Max D, who won earlier this year in St. Louis. Oh, but the last person to double down here was Ryan Anderson and son of a digger. You know, Ryan is always very confident. He's been so tough, tough on the tour this year. He's got a great team behind him. You know, Brandon Benson and his crew team, you know, really puts that thing back together well after it's blown up. But I think you've got something there with Tom Mentz and this new Max D number eight. As I was talking to him, he said, you know, the two to three minutes that we tested out at Monster Jam University really made a difference. Usually it takes a whole season. The shorter four lengths, the changes that they made, he's going to get it done. Racing tonight, I'm going to go with um, a little bit of a wild card. You know, he won in 2011. I just had an opportunity to talk to him. You know, Lindsey Wink is very laser focused out there. That's what he talked about. You know, he's in constant communication with his crew chief all the time about track conditions, the line. He's very meticulous as a student of Monster Jam, so I think he's going to take your win. Well, Taylor, I know you're here, too, with us in the stands with the fans. Who do you think is going to take the big wins tonight in racing and freestyle here at the Dome? Ryan, I gotta say, Damon Bradshaw, Monster Energy, is my pick for racing. You know, he has had an incredible record this year um, on the FS1 Championship Series. Adam Anderson, amazing performances with freestyle. I'm, I'm gonna have to go with him, but you know what? It's not about us. It is about the fans here at Monster Jam, and I want to know what y'all think. All right, who do you think is going to race in tonight? Zombie. Zombie. Who do you think is going to freestyle? Zombie. Zombie fans in here? All right. Who do you think is going to win freestyle tonight? Max D. Max D. And what about you for racing? Oh, um, I was going to say Monster Energy, kind of. She's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Any Monster Energy fans out there? I mean, that's who I pick. All right, on the count of three, I want y'all all to say who you think is going to win freestyle tonight. Ready? I want you to scream it out loud. One, two, three. Sounds like it's all across the board to me, Ryan. Now with the 2009 World Finals Freestyle Champion, driver of Monster Energy, Damon Bradshaw. Damon, will you please tell me a little bit about your year, the FS1 Championship Series, World Finals, and how you think your freestyle has been compared to a lot of the other Monster Jam superstars? 
Oh, we've had a great year, man. Team Monster Energy has been uh, really good this year, and we're looking forward to going into 17 with, uh, you know, I hear we're going to have a body change, or actually I should say a scheme change anyway. So I haven't actually got to see it yet, but uh, hopefully here in the next week or so we all will. So that's what's exciting for us, I think, for 17. And, you know, we always want to better ourselves. You know, I had a lot of fans come through tonight and talked about last year how well we did. And for us, it kind of runs together. So they were refreshing my memory. I said, if we can come in and do better than we did last year, then myself and my team will be happy. Adam Anderson in Gravedigger sounded like he was kind of poking the bear a little bit up there. You're going to be competing up against him, against Neil Elliott and Max D, Scott Buto, and Team Hot Wheels Firestorm on the FS1 West Championship Series. Is the third time really a charm? We like to hope so, you know, and uh, when you have, you know, freestyle, which is really tough because it's a judging competition, racing is something they can't take from you. So, you know, we're going to work hard at both of them and go out there and we'll just let the cards fall where they fall. And uh, I know the Monster Energy team doesn't want to lose, so we're going to work really hard to win. And you'll be able to see him all 2017 on FS1. Keep checking back to MonsterJam.com to find out when you can watch The Beast from the East on FS1. Now we're here with the 11-time World Finals champion, Tom Mentz, Max D. I almost feel not worthy, but how will you be able to top your freestyle run that won you the championship earlier this year at the Dome? Oh, it was an awesome time. You know, the fans brought me up to a fever. You would come out here. It was an awesome FS1 championship run. I loved every minute of it. And man, cap it off with that huge backflip. Place erupted. That's exactly what I want to do tonight. And you're going to do it in a brand new truck. How does it fit? Are you comfortable? Are you ready to rock the house in St. Louis? No, I haven't had a new piece in seven years. I'm really excited to debut it here in St. Louis where all the great fans are. I'm going to run it extremely hard, give it a true test tonight. I can't wait to get out there because it fits like a good old pair of shoes. And looking forward to 2017, who are you most excited to beat on the Monster Jam FS1 East Championship Series? Absolutely. Team Max D has a mission this year. You know, we're going to go out there and beat every grave digger we can. It's no secret it's going to be their 35th year anniversary. We want to spoil it all we can. Well, look for them as well on FS1. And tonight here in St. Louis, it's Tom Mentz and Max D. cool to watch his daddy do what he loves the best yeah you know it's almost like a dream come true in itself to have a little guy at home my son Cairo he's three years old now and he loves Monster Jam and I love you know bringing him to the shows and it just hits home for me when I see everybody that comes through the line with the family I love it because Monster Jam is all about family and which brings me to my next point is that zombie was actually created by the Monster Jam fans so it's been connected since day one I love it. I love it. Now, with your RC cars, you do a lot with RC cars, and you're really big on social media like your Instagram, and I'm constantly seeing you posting things up about your RC cars. Tell these fans how awesome they are and why they got to get them. You know, I actually got discovered at a big RC Monster Jam race in North Carolina, home of Gravedigger, and it's cool because Axial has a brand new RC Monster Jam truck out right now. They've got a Gravedigger and a Max D, and uh, I love racing them. I love building them for people, and it's a way to practice too, so maybe you never know. The next Monster Jam driver could be an RC Monster Truck driver just like me. There you go. Y'all go get your RC trucks. Barn with Sour, good luck tonight. You can do it. Raise up those zombie hands. Leo Donald, VP Racing Fuels, mad scientist here. Now, 2014 wasn't the greatest time here in St. Louis. You made it all the way to the racing finals, and unfortunately, it didn't end in your favor. Is it fueling your fire tonight to take on that hardware even more? Yeah, absolutely. You know, this track is huge. The floor is huge. The building's huge. So, 
We're, uh, we're looking to get some uh, get a win here tonight. You know, for all the St. Louis fans, I love coming here. It's, uh, it's a great city. Well, you know, speaking here of St. Louis, we haven't had Chicago-style racing since 2014 in this building, and I know you specifically were so excited about having that type of racing here tonight. Yeah, when we got, when I got here, I came out to the floor. I'm like, what's going on here? And then, uh, you know, somebody explained to me, oh, we're going to do Chicago-style. I'm like, thank goodness it's coming back. You know, I wasn't a big fan of the old-style racing we were doing. But, uh, you know, the VP Racing Fuels Mad Scientist loves this kind of track. So we were third quick last night, so we're looking for some big things tonight. There you go. VP Racing Fuels driver, Lee O'Donnell. Give him a big round of applause. Here with Brutus's Brad Allen, Team Scream is in the house at the Dome in St. Louis. Brad, you were here earlier this year. Talk about your experience on the FS1 Championship Series. Oh, the FS1 Series, I mean, you couldn't ask for a better series. You're running with the top-of-the-line trucks year-round or for first quarter. I mean, you learn a lot. You learn how they drive. You teach yourself how to drive against them. I mean, it's amazing. So what kind of expectations do you have for yourself competing on the FS1 East Championship Series in 2017? Oh, like I said, learn, learning stuff from last year. I got to go into first quarter FS1 tour with a clear head. Just think about keeping the wheels down and go to the winner's circle. And what are you going to do here tonight for all these St. Louis Monster Jam fans? Oh, it's the last show of the season for us. So whatever happens to that truck really doesn't matter. We'll push it in the trailer. Expect insanity tonight from Team Scream. Now we're here with the two-time world finals champion, the leader of Team Scream, Jim Kohler and Avenger. Jim, I hear you have a little something up your sleeve for 2017. Well, yeah, it's my uh, 20th year anniversary, so a lot of fans that have been with me for the whole 20 years, they've been wanting to see something cool. So this year for 2017, we're going to bring out a cool body. You have to wait till January to see it. So check out the web, check out Facebook, check out all that stuff. It's going to be pretty wild. That'll be on the FS1 Championship Series East, so make sure to check out that on FS1. Now, your second time here in St. Louis this year. What do you love about all of these Monster Jam fans? You know, St. Louis has got some of the best fans because their building is so awesome. It's as wide as it is long, just about. I mean, it's a huge floor. We can totally get radical, totally get crazy, and they appreciate that. And they show us their appreciation by screaming as loud as they can. They get wild, just like Mr. Excitement does, because it's St. Louis, and you guys are awesome! Yeah! That's right, be pretty, play dirty, Becky McDonough and El Toro Loco in the house. I love it with her red hair. You can't miss her in these stands. Now, Becky, I just got to say congratulations. You have reached since November your 10th year in Monster Jam. I know you've got to be so proud. It is absolutely exciting, you know, to think back and that, you know, this was just a dream job for me. I was in ninth grade going to the Minneapolis Metrodome, watching it as a fan, and to have everything come full circle after 10 years, you know, five years of being under the trucks, turning the wrenches, getting greasy with the guys, to now being behind the wheel. And it's so awesome. I've seen so many girls coming up, spraying their hair red now, you know, and it's just amazing. All the little hashtags that everyone uses now, the little girls and little boys are putting it on their signs. And it's just, it is a very proud moment. It's very humbling to know where I came from and to where I am. So for all you little girls and even you boys, you know, anybody, if there's something you want to do, make sure you do it. Don't let anyone tell you you can't. Just dream big and work hard. I couldn't have said it better. Becky McDonough, El Toro Loco, good luck, good luck tonight. Thank you so much. Up next, here he comes. Ryan Anderson and son of a digger. Ryan, you were the last driver here in St. Louis to double down. Is it fueling your fire? You want to keep that title or what? Absolutely, man. This year has been amazing. I've knocked down tons of race wins, tons of freestyle wins, but to get a double down right here in St. Louis, not only the, for to, this tonight, the first time in ever in December, but for my second time in a row, that'll be insane. You people are awesome coming out here in big numbers. I can't wait. 
So let's talk a little bit about your international travels. I mean, really, you have been all across the world in this, these past few years. It had to have been a really neat experience for you to see fans from all over. Absolutely. I did a whole tour through Australia last year. This year I went all through Spain, Germany, all over the place. It's been insane. I'm just now getting back. My clock's still a little crazy, but I am ready for tonight. Tonight, St. Louis is my focus right now. Racing, I want to knock it out. I want to do awesome. But like you know, my dad, Dennis Anderson, he created freestyle. So that's what I'm going to do here tonight. I'm going to drive that truck as hard as I can until it absolutely stops. Ryan Anderson and son of a digger. Well, we're getting closer to the start of the event, and what better than a tour of this amazing competition track from some of the superstars of Monster Jam. Hello, everybody. I'm Lindsey Wake, driver of the Lucas Oil Crusader. I want to talk tonight about qualifying our first competition tonight. Now, there's 14 trucks here competing tonight, but only eight will qualify to race. So what happens? It looks like we're racing, but our first round is just head-to-head -head qualifying two trucks, it takes times. We're not racing head to head. We're just taking times. After that, top eight goes into the race bracket. Over to you, buddy. Hey guys, Adam Anderson here, driver of the Grave Digger Monster Tram truck. We're out here on the racetrack right now. Once you complete the qualifying, you get the top eight. Then there's the bracket of the eight trucks. You're gonna work your way through racing. It starts right here. You do a complete circle around this track. It's called Chicago style here in St. Louis. We're ready to rock it out tonight. It's on to you. Hey guys, Bailey Shea here with Team Scooby-Doo, and I'm here to explain to you how my 12,000-pound pup pulls off the perfect tail wagon sky wheelie. So tonight, we need to be confident, so we need you guys to get loud, get up, cheer us on. we got to have that momentum. We need to go vertical. We need to go big in hopes of taking home that wheelie Monster Jam championship. On to you, Scott. Hey Monster Jam fans, this is Scott Butil, driver of Team Hot Wheels Firestorm. I'm here to talk about freestyle. That's when all the drivers are going to have two minutes to impress those judges. You're going to see us going 30 feet in air, doing slap wheelies, crazy saves, some cyclones, and maybe some big wheelies. But let's talk about the best obstacle in all of freestyle. That's the backflip ramp right there. That's when the truck's going to hit that ramp, go 360 degrees, and land on all fours and keep rocking. St. Louis, are you ready? That completes this week's edition of Monster Jam Live on Facebook as we get ready and closer to the action here at the Dome at America Center in St. Louis. For everyone joining us at facebook.com slash Monster Jam from all around the world, we'd like to say thank you for being a part of this historic event. And make sure to follow us, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, for highlights and updates every day with Monster Jam. And be watching for upcoming editions of Monster Jam, like, like one week from tonight for the first ever Monster Jam at the brand new U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis. Don't miss it. And thank you for joining us for Monster Jam Live.